guys, Lorlin here again and today we have here the perfect GPU for 1440p gaming at the highest quality settings without breaking the bank. This is the Gigabyte RX 7800 XT Gaming OC. I know some people still prefer playing at 1440p resolution rather than 4K. And sometimes we end up buying a GPU that is either too powerful and expensive for 1440p or too cheap and mediocre for it. However, there are GPUs specifically aimed at 1440p gaming that probably won't break the bank. Let's take a look at the Gigabyte RX 7800 XT Gaming OC. Specs-wise, it features a boost clock of up to 2,565 MHz, a game clock of up to 2,265 MHz, 3,840 stream processors, 16 gigs of GDDR6 memory, and requires a minimum of 700 watts PSU. It also supports dual GPU BIOS modes, OC and Silent. I like the subtle black and gray design. It looks very sturdy and features a triple fan setup and a metal back plate. This GPU is a bit long and bulky so make sure to check your case for clearance. Some unique features and technologies from Gigabyte includes the WinForce cooling system which is an excellent cooling solution. As you can see, I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy at the highest quality settings and getting temperatures below 70 degrees Celsius which is nice to see. It also features Gigabyte RGB Fusion so if you have other Gigabyte hardware that supports RGB Fusion, you can easily sync their lighting for a more organized and uniform appearance. Okay, before we move forward, here are the full setup specs for the test. For the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X, and to cool that, we have the Aorus Water Force X2 360Is, and the board we have is the Aorus B650E Stealth Ice, then we have 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, and to power the system up, we have the Aorus Elite 1000 watts 80 plus platinum power supply. So if you're planning to build a white gaming PC, you may want to consider this pieces of hardware. Last but not the least, we have an amazing OLED monitor, the Aorus FO27Q3. This is definitely the perfect monitor for the Gigabyte RX 7800 XT Gaming OC as it features a QD OLED panel, 2K resolution, a 360Hz refresh rate and support for AMD FreeSync Premium Pro and HDR. Okay, so the first game we're going to try is Black Myth Wukong. This is one of the most anticipated games of 2024 and is definitely a great choice for testing the GPU. This game supports AMD Hyper RX technology which greatly boosts FPS and provides a better gaming experience. In Black Myth Wukong, the average FPS I get without AMD Hyper RX enabled is around 30 with the highest quality settings. With AMD Hyper RX enabled, we easily achieve above 60 FPS which is much better and smoother without sacrificing overall image quality. I'm impressed by the latest technologies from AMD. They make the gaming experience a lot better. To enable AMD Hyper RX, simply open AMD Software Adrenaline, go to the Gaming tab, then Graphics, you will see these settings. Click Hyper RX to enable it globally, so every time you open a game, it will be turned on automatically. I really appreciate the quality of OLED monitors because once you experience OLED, it's hard to go back to a conventional LCD screen. Okay, going back to the game, I'm happy with the FPS result and I appreciate that even though we're pushing to the highest settings at 2K resolution, the GPU still maintains a decent and acceptable temperature which is nice. Moving on, the next game is Hogwarts Legacy. This is one of my favorite games. I've already finished it and highly recommend it, especially if you're a Harry Potter fan. Or even if you're a casual gamer like me, you'll love it. This game supports AMD Hyper RX 2, so I really appreciate the gameplay even more. I like the animation and graphics in this game, and you'll definitely appreciate them more when playing at a high frame rate. Without AMD Hyper RX, we get around 40 FPS, and with it turned on, we get around 70 FPS. That's a significant improvement. 
Okay, the last game we're going to try is Cyberpunk 2077. I know it's a bit of an older game, but I appreciate how active the developers have been as there have been many improvements since its release. I don't play FPS games that much due to my motion sickness, but for the sake of testing and benchmarking, here we are. This game also supports AMD Hyper RX and it's quite surprising that you can drop below 30 FPS on a high settings with ray ray tracing turned on and AMD Hyper RX turned off. I can see myself playing an FPS game with such low FPS. Thankfully, with AMD Hyper RX enabled, we easily achieve over 100 FPS, which is absolutely perfect for a game like this. One thing I noticed throughout the playthrough is the GPU temperature. It's really low and cool. Back then, I used to get a bit anxious whenever I saw GPU temperature go above 70 degrees Celsius. That's why I often turn off the counter overlay and just play the game. However, we still need to monitor these temperatures from time to time to ensure everything is normal. Anyways, aside from the decent temperature, we are also getting a good and definitely playable FPS result. With this, we can take full advantage of the monitor's high refresh rate. As you know, playing FPS at high refresh rate provides an amazing and smooth gaming experience. So it's another win for this GPU. My overall experience with the Gigabyte RX 7800 XT Gaming OC has been excellent. It's always nice to have high FPS and low temperatures. That's a big win with a new GPU. With that in mind, if you're considering a GPU upgrade, I highly recommend Gigabyte RX 7800 XT Gaming OC. Currently, it is priced at around 33,995 pesos and if you purchase by October 5, 2024, you'll receive two free games from AMD. For more information, click the link below. Again, this is Lorlin and thank you so much guys for watching. Bye!